Okay, so hello guys, welcome to Chromosome Channel and today I will be teaching you guys on some of the hot question on mathematics paper 2. Okay, so let's move on to the first chapter which is linear inequalities. Okay, so question 1a. On the graph paper, shade the region which satisfy the three inequalities y larger or equal to negative 3x plus 6 y larger to x plus 1 and y smaller or equals to 5. Okay, so as you can see, the first two equation, which is this and this, is provided and is drawn in the graph paper already. So you do need to draw these two equations. So you need to focus and draw on the third equation. Okay, so now you see the first equation. The first equation is already drawn in the graph paper already. Okay, so this is the y equals to negative 3x plus 6. Okay, as you can see, it is a solid line. So do you know why it will be drawn as a solid line? Because when it is larger or equal to or smaller or equal to, it should be a solid line. And while it is larger or smaller to, and you should draw it as a dotted line. Okay, so you can see the second equation, y larger than x plus 1. So this is already drawn in the graph paper too. So you can see it is a dotted line. Okay, so the third equation is not drawn, so you must, so we must draw it, we must draw it by ourselves. Okay, so let's find y equals to 5. Okay, remember to label the line. Okay, so after you have drawn the three lines, now it is the time for you to shade the region which satisfy the three inequalities. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. Okay, y larger to negative 3x plus 6. Okay, so if it is larger means it is on top of the line. So this tree is a possible region. Okay, so the second one, y larger to x plus one. Okay, so remember if when if it's larger, then should be on top of the line. Okay, so this tree region is the possible region. Okay, so the last one, y smaller or equal to five. When it's smaller, then the region, then the region should be below the line. Okay, so this tree is also the is the possible region. Okay. So as you can see, the final region that satisfy the three inequalities is this region. So this is the answer. If you think that this method is a bit time consuming, you there's also another method which you can use to find the shader region. Okay, so you will need to prepare three rulers and you can and you just place the three rulers on top of the three lines and obviously you already can see which one is a shader region ready okay so i hope that this method is also very helpful for you okay so now let's take a look at the second question On the graph in the answer space, shade the region which satisfy all three inequalities y larger to x negative 2, y smaller or equal to 6, and y larger or equal to x plus 6. Okay, so the first two equations is already drawn in the graph paper. As you can see, this one is the first equation. And this is the second equation. Okay, so now you will need to draw the third equation. Okay, so how to draw this equation? Okay, so now you need to find the third equation. So you need to make two assumptions to find two points. So as you can join the two points into a line. Okay, so now you just make the first assumption. Okay, so for example, I assume the x is equals to 1. Okay, so just substitute the x value into the equation and you can find y is equal to 5. Okay, so your point 1 is, your first point is 1 comma 3. Okay, so the second assumption, so I assume that the x value be 3. Okay, so just substitute the 3 into the equation. Okay, so you can find the answer for y is also 3. So your second point is also founded. Okay. 
So now plot the two points in your graph paper. Okay, the point one is one, five. The second point is three, 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 mm -hmm. three. Okay. So now you have two points and you can just join two points to form a line. Okay, so this is your line and don't forget to label your line. Mm -hmm. Okay, y equals to negative x plus 6. Okay, so now you will need to find the shader region. So, okay, I'll remove a bit faster a bit because just now I've already explained how to find the shader region. Okay, so the first one is y larger to x negative 6. Okay, this three possible region. The second one, y smaller or equals to 6, this three. And the last one, y larger or equal to negative x plus 6. So this three one. So the final answer for the shader region should be this. Okay. So now let's move on to the next question. Okay, so actually the two questions which I've just discussed just now is those normal questions that you guys commonly seen, okay? Okay, so this is considered a type of hot question. So now let's try to do it, okay? So on the graph paper in the answer space, state three inequalities that define the shape region, okay? Okay, so first one, y equals to 7. y equals to 7, the shader region is below, right? So the answer should be y smaller or equals to 7 because it is a solid line, so you must add a cool symbol, okay? So the second inequalities, okay, let's take a look at this line. 5y equals to 3x plus 5. So it is better for us to move this file over there, okay? So let's try to do this, okay? 5y equals to 3x plus 5. Okay, you can just divide everything with 5, okay? 5 equals to 3 over 5, x plus 5 over 5. When 5 over 5 is 1. Okay, so this is this is better. So since you can see the shader region is above the line, so it should be y larger than 3 over 5 x plus 1. Okay. And take note that this is a dotted line, so don't accidentally add a equals to symbol at here okay so now let's look at the third line okay so that so this is a third line and the equation is not provided so we must find the equation by ourselves okay so how to find the equation so do you remember the line formula the line equation which is y equals to mx plus t which is Okay, so the line equation y equals to mx plus c. Okay, at first you will need to find the m first. m is the gradient. How to find the gradient? Okay, so so there is a formula for gradient which is negative y intercept divided by x intercept
So the y-intercept of this line is 9. Okay, so negative 9 divided by the x-intercept. The x-intercept is also 9. So the gradient for this line is negative 1. Okay, so now you can just substitute the value into this equation. m is negative 1, x plus c. Do you know what is c? c is actually the y-intercept. So as you can see, the y-intercept of this line is 9. So just substitute c with 9, okay? So the equation for this line is y equals to negative x plus 9. Okay, so the shaded region is above the line. So obviously, the answer is y larger or equals to negative x plus 9. Okay, so that's all for today. And I hope you can master the question in linear inequality. So if you like this series, I hope you can help me to share to your friends and Thank you.